Hi, I'm Ressa, and today I'm going to be getting my hair done by Rihanna stylist Yousef. Before we get into the transformation, please subscribe below. I love my hair, I really do, but my hair is super curly and super dry. I think I had a stylist say to me, oh, like your hair has like beautiful curls, but then it dries into a bush, and I was like, that's true, that's true. I mean, if I could have my hair like flash frozen when I get out of the shower, I'd be like, all the time, like look at me. I think that I could really rock a wash and go if my hair kind of stayed wet. It sounds it sounds weird, but girls, you know what I'm talking about. I'm really excited for Yusuf to bless my head. I want him to oil my scalp, and I want him to just like revitalize my look. No, I'm not nervous at all. I cannot wait. Yusuf, I trust you completely. Honestly, I want to be Rihanna, but that won't happen overnight. But if I can have like her hair, Plus we both have big foreheads, so I know that I, I'm, I'm gonna be safe. He's talented, I'm cute, like it's gonna work. Hello, my name is Youssef, celebrity hairstylist here in New York City. I just think we should do something a little sexy, something away from the face. So am I gonna look grown at the end of this video? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So it's very important when you're doing wigs that your foundation is very tamed. I always like to braid my foundation down as small as possible, just so the wig can be flat and secured. I've been doing hair since I was 13 years old. I was in the music industry and hair was something that I always did, you know, on my downtime as a hobby. I was doing a lot of fashion. I didn't realize it was happening, but before I knew it, I was doing actors and musicians every day. I've never had a wig before because my mom doesn't wear wigs. I grew up in a, a majority like white community and like wigs weren't the norm there. I just feel like wearing a wig is an easy way to change up my look without having to cut my hair, grow out my hair, worry about the health of my hair on the daily. I started working with Rihanna in 2009, a long time ago, wow. My first time working with her was Paris Fashion Week. I was supposed to be with her for like two days and I wind up staying for the whole week. She just kind of let me go which was an amazing process because it allowed me to just do things that I saw her having like long before I even worked with her and it just turned out to be like magic. I don't have baby hair. Is there a way to like get that look or should I just like give up? Well, most baby hairs are just broken hair. Okay. Let's be real. <laughs> have you ever thought that it looks like um, bacon? <laughs> is that a thing? I never, ever, ever thought about that, but you are so right. All right, so I'm using a little of the gel just to give this a more of a flatter surface. And once, when it dries, it also helps the wig stick to her head. How far in advance do you plan out looks? Like the night before or sometimes on set. We don't like to feel trapped in like a look. We just go with the flow. What do you think is to make the newest hair trend coming up? Um, other than wigs. Nowadays, like, people want to feel a little bit more, like, tamed. I feel like that's really something that I'm seeing a lot. Not the, like, kind of, like, messy hair and things like that. I feel like women are now, like, doing their hair, making sure their hair is in place. You think it's, like, part of the whole, like, self-care movement? Please, the world is so crazy right now. The last thing you want to do is get, like, lost and, you know, be a part of the screaming nonsense. I mean, hair plays a big part of that. Beauty plays a big part of that. So I'm using the stocking cap and I'm gonna use this as the base for the lace front. Will this make my forehead look smaller? <laughs> I just, that's a question. Can't. I mean, that's Random if you wanna question. bring your wig down here, but I don't recommend that. I always say, follow your hairline. If you're gonna not follow your hairline, just go a tiny bit above it, just to protect your hair. So now I'm gonna cut the perimeter of the stocking cap. I know Rissa talked about making her forehead smaller, but I love a good forehead. So I'm just bringing it down a little bit above her natural hairline. There's a wig behind you. I think that Yousef is like very inventive with his hairstyles. I loved Rihanna's hair on Ocean's 8. I thought the really thick locks were really cool and amazing and kind of like paid homage to Caribbean culture. I think he really works with his clients to find styles that work with their face and their features. So it's not trying to like, match a style to a person, but it's creating a style around the person, which I think is very cool. I always love this hair. It's something that you can do formal, you can dress it up. I'm just gonna go in and do like some messy layers, nothing too contrived. What I'm gonna do is just take these extra long pieces of hair 
and use a razor and just kind of like erratically cut them. And that's how we'll create our gorgeous little baby hair drama. All right, Rissa, do you want to see what we came up with? Cute. I mean, you were cute. You came, but like. <laughs> you look good, girl. You look good. <laughs> also, first time I like having baby hair, you guys. Babies, no bacon. The wet look. Who would have thought? Wet and go. Wet and go. So this is our finished look. Hope you guys like it. Do you like it? I love it. Please let us know what other videos you like to see in the comments below. To subscribe to 109, click here. For more videos, click here.